I've realized lately that most women say I want to be independent. I don't want to marry. I just look up for somebody and give birth with and that will be it. No, I am not for it. Marrying the right person, you are good to go. Marriage is good. Marriage is sweet. Let no one lie to you that marriage is not sweet. I can really vouch and say, I had my 10 years knowledge. I renewed my vows with my husband. We walked into the church and it was beautiful. If you see that this is it, don't go into it. The right person will come and then you get married with the person. I'm sure some of the young ladies watching will ask you that, uh, how do you identify a right guy for myself? Right, you're still watching 24 Hours TV. I'm seated right here uh, with this amazing woman that has been married for 10 years now. And she's sharing with us things we need to know, things we need to understand about family life and then uh, marriage life, our relationships will be better. Now, um, when you guys started dating, there was so much love. When you gave birth, when you got pregnant and you gave birth, there was transformation. Did you see changes in the love that is coming from your man or the love was still the same? This would depend, depend on you, the individual. Don't expect that. Is it the same? This, because it's a two-sided two something. It will not come from one person. It takes two to tango. So when you have given birth, there is transformation. Your body is not the same as... It doesn't mean that when you give birth, you should just leave and then you don't take care of your body. You should take off your body. You should take off care of yourself. You should still look good. You should sew the clothes you used to sew. You should wear the things you used to wear. It doesn't mean that you have given birth, so my body is transformed. Now we have various ways to keep your body to keep in shape. So you have to make sure that you, you always look good. You shouldn't take that from you. And when you look good, all the time, it will spark up the marriage all the time. Anytime you are doing new things about your body and you are keeping in shape, when your husband sees you too, he will be, okay, oh, my wife is keeping up. But don't be the wife that you feel relaxed after giving birth and you don't take care of her. Look at me now. I'm giving birth, but I'm still taking care of myself. I'm at Kunedu Nails today and I'm fixing my nails. I'm doing my pedicure. I want to look good. Anytime I step, I'm stepping out with my husband, I make sure that I am looking real good. And my husband knows that about me. Me, 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 So it doesn't mean that after birth, the marriage is, we should, no, 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 no. It's not like that. So I can say that the, from the dating stage, we were in love and we are still in love. It, it still feels the same. It has not changed. That's powerful. Well, let's get to the place where young ones are afraid to enter into uh, marriages. Maybe they want to live their life. They will, they will love to live, but they feel like some marriages will keep them grounded and then they will not be able to do what they feel like they want to do. What's your advice to young ladies? Okay. I've realized lately that most women say I want to be independent. I don't want to marry. I just look up for somebody and give birth with and that will be it. No, I am not for it. Marriage, marriage with the, marrying the right person, you are good to go. Marriage is good. Marriage is sweet. Let no one lie to you that marriage is not sweet. When you are able to make the marriage work, marriage will be sweet for you. I can really vouch and say, I had my 10 years knowledge. I renewed my vows with my husband. We walked into the church and it was beautiful with our kids let no one lie to you so the young ones coming up don't say that marriage marriage is them it's it's up to you and the person to make that marriage work and when you are choosing a partner look out for the red flags if you see that this is it don't go into it the right person will come and then you get married with the person i'm sure some of the young ladies watching will ask you that uh, how do you identify a right guy for myself sometimes it flows naturally but sometimes you yourself, you have to put your mind to it. That, is it what I want? The looks, is it what I want? What he does, is it what I want? How he talks, is it what I want? His anger issues, anything about him. You know what you want. So when the person approaches you and the person comes, you have to say, some people, I, I know you study somebody, you know, know the person for a long, but there are very main attributes that you have to doubt. The person cannot hide it. 
you have to look out for the what you want if it's not in the person then i'm not sure you can develop love for that person so at the first instant you have to watch out for your own attributes you want in a man and that's it so now you talk about communication you talk about uh some things that are gonna be a red flag when you get into a new relationship tell us what are some of the signs when you see as an early age in a relationship it's not a good one for you to even say you want to spend the rest of your life with this person first 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 look out for cheating if you if you get a man and you see this man mm, anything is scared whatever is you you see the cheating signs chatting he's not being transparent always hiding his phone going to the bathroom with his phone and all any any other person when you go into relation you see the if, if you know somebody cheats or you see it from the onset some women will see all those signs and they still go in for it maybe they believe that they could change the person no, that thing is no nobody changes so nobody changes when i i saw my husband i realized that I, i'm a pentecost I realize that it takes in alcohol. And you know, these charismatics, we don't really fancy people who take in alcohol. But I got to study him. I realized that it doesn't take in alcohol to the extent that he will be drunk. Uh, yes. So I didn't say that, oh, my values don't say that we, sh we should go out with someone who takes alcohol. No, I didn't. I know, I already knew him like that. I went straight and then I, I, I accepted and then I said, I will be with him. And so far, so good. There's nothing that has come out bringing his drunkenness to the worst case. No. So in every marriage, before you get married, you study the person. When you see the cheating signs, that one is the main cause. Just back off. Don't go. The person will not change. That is the person. When it comes to cheating, there are some young ladies that uh, has decided to uh, date three to four guys for some reasons. Uh, to some of them that I interviewed, with a fear say Ebia, maybe one may disappoint them and then they fall on the other. Uh, some other people who commented on that very uh, post were saying they were using these multiple guys for stream of income. What's your advice to young ladies who really want to be something for themselves one day? Oh, um, I don't really concur with that fact that you have to date multiple men to choose from multiple men when you are dating multiple men all of them will have their demands and are you ready as a woman to give out the demands of all those men let me say three or four men when all of them are demanding for sex let me say excuse me to say are you going to have sex with all those multiple men no you know the Maybe there will be a calendar for them. no 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 no, no. <laughs> i don't really buy that idea at all so you have multiple sex partners. You have, you know, the risk that comes with having multiple sex partners. Not only for that period. The risk factors can be for a prolonged period of time after marriage. The after effect, yeah. you face afterwards, and maybe doing those multiple men, maybe pregnancies may come up, and a whole lot of things can come out out of that multiple men. There are diseases that the STDs STDs out there. The risk factors are so many. So why would you do that? jump from one end it before you and then you just pray that god let the right person come so that you don't move from one man to another i never did that when i'm dating i date you and i moved to, i i think i dated twice and then the third is who i got married to so i don't believe in multiple would you say i know would you say that they need money some young ladies need money uh, enough uh, to be able to sort out some of the things or some of their looks. Um, maybe even fixing their nails, where they fix it is expensive, unlike Kunedu nails. Um, would you say it's intentional, like they're intentionally doing it for what they can get? As a lady, I don't think you should have that whole perspective that you should depend on a man to be able to keep yourself to be able to look good going no you should empower yourself as a lady you should find something to do maybe you should go to school you should look for a skill to do empower yourself even before you get married if you are independent it is best for you learning skill 
if you don't if you have finished school if someone someone took the educative way go to school assess university find a job learning skills you can even come to kunedu nails and learn a skill you can learn makeup you can learn bakery there are a lot of things out there you can do you can open a shop you can sell empower yourself make sure you have something doing before you start dating before you get married so the young people out there don't be dependent on men Make sure you have your own man before you get married. That's the advice I'll give to. Okay, so every young lady out there should be able to learn a skill, uh, whether makeup or nails or whatever, and then they will be able to have enough not to depend on men out there. That's powerful. What's your advice to young ladies who see married men as their source of income? Hmm just me oh, i have to say that just put yourself into the woman the woman's husband the, the woman that you are chasing a husband if it's where you will you be happy that's the only thing i will say if you will not be happy then i think what you are doing you are not doing right that's all that's powerful okay 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 what do you do okay i into mother care supplies i have my own business smart care ventures okay that is smart care yes please I am. where is it located it's at community 25 before ars junction opposite pram pram land secretariat that's powerful are you on social media yes my handles on ig smart care ventures on facebook smart care ventures and on tiktok smart care ventures on tiktok yes smart care ventures that's powerful Right, you're still watching 24 Hours TV. The name is Alom Newman. You can also call me Alom The Voice. And this is where we draw curtains on today's conversation on what marriage is and how you should go about your marriage and have a very beautiful family life. I've been here with... Uh, Thelma Brown. Thelma Brown. She is a CEO. She, she's got her own business center. Uh, where she sells uh, kid stuffs. Um, you might want to check them out on social media. Well, this is where we draw curtains on today's conversation. We meet again at the appointed time.